Hello everyone! We are starting this week our coverage of Euronaval online, as the event this year is in digital format. Make sure to check back with us all week long, as we will be publishing some great content on a daily basis with both on-site and remote interviews. But for our first Euronaval online video, I decided to show you some footage we recorded back in December 2019, when Naval News toured the Lacroix Defense Facility near Toulouse. Here is our report, consisting in an exclusive access to the integration bench of the Silena decoy launcher, followed by an overview of the entire Lacroix naval portfolio. So this is the integration uh, part for the lightweight, which is mainly the same for the Silena MK1 or MK2. We just have a different launcher with a smaller than the other one, uh, in order to be able to install this launcher on small vessel uh, and to optimize the place uh, on the vessel. Can you name a navy that's been selecting the lightweight? Today we have the uh, Oman Navy uh, with the lightweight version and the other country under processing for understanding uh, this, uh, this version. Can you please uh, show us a simulated attack? Okay, so in this configuration we are in manual mode so we can engage manually any different attack by choosing the angle, the distance of the speed, uh, the, threat, the threat speed and the type of the seeker. For example, I will take long, uh, long distance with EM seeker and then can engage uh, the, the threat. The Silena system is able to uh, manage uh, multiple attack scenario up to three. So I can add two other more uh, threats with different type of seeker. We can mix all type of seeker, all angle, all distance. And the Silena system is able to manage all threats directly. We can also add torpedo threats. We can also engage uh, one more torpedo threat by choosing the distance, if you want, and engage the threat for the torpedo. Do you have uh, manual modes as well? Yes, we have also uh, an emergency mode in case of a uh, big failure of the combat management system or the CK, and we can uh, fire directly manually uh, for the anti-air warfare or anti-submarine warfare by selecting these two buttons. Or this one. Uh, can you please explain to us what is this uh, HIP screen? Okay, this sub system is the heading indicator panel which is placed on the bridge in order to indicate the recommended maneuver in order to maximize uh, all decoy tactics from the Silena system. Is this screen typically placed on the bridge of the ship? Yes, on the bridge of, of the ship in order to, to be able to take the good maneuver to optimize the tactics. We are now in the showroom of uh, Lacroix. Guillaume, can you please tell us about some of the ammunition you are on display here? This is the Dagger suitcase, which was back in the 80s one of the most effective decoying solutions that was able to protect vessels against uh, sea skimming type of missiles. But with the evolution of the missiles, we have been obliged to have new types of ammunition, going from the mortar type of ammunition, the CLM, all the way to the rocket type. These ammunitions are capable of integrating corner reflectors in order to have new type of decoying solutions, not based on chaff as it was for the Dagger suitcase, but on corner reflectors that are way more efficient against new generation type of missiles. So we have rockets here that are capable of deploying uh, decoys up to a few thousand meters away, which is able to do confusion and distraction type of tactics. Here we have mortars that are more used for seduction type of tactics. We also propose infrared type of decoys with mortar decoys and also rocket type of decoys in order to have the, if, uh, the effect either close to the ship or at a certain range away from the ship. Other type of ammunitions here are related to signaling due for search and rescue missions, for example. You have here marine markers, 30 minutes, 90 minutes, or 10 minutes, but also uh, stain type of markers uh, that are totally uh, free of pyrotechnics that can be used easily by any type of crew. Over here, uh, another part of uh, the systems that we propose are signaling type of ammunition that are used on submarines. 
either to have smoke type of uh, signaling or a uh, bright star type of signaling. You are showing here your entire range of uh, Selena decoy launcher. Can you tell us about each one of them? Of course. Over here you have the Salina MK1 launcher, which is basically a launcher a system that is uh, used for corvettes and small frigates. For smaller vessels, we also have the opportunity to propose the lightweight version with a smaller launcher capable of having less ammunition but with a small footprint for the deck where the space is needed. And for the large vessels here, we have the Salina MK2, which adds the, the capability of firing anti-torpedo type of ammunition in addition to the anti-air warfare. For highly um, stealthy type of uh, frigates or vessels, we have the opportunity, opportunity to um, yeah, we have the opportunity to have the launcher installed below the deck for a complete integration inside the vessel and a stealthy design of the, of the launcher. All right, Guillaume, thank you very much for uh, introducing to us your uh, naval decoy solutions, both past and current ones. What about the future? What's next for uh, the Silena family? We are currently working on evolutions in order to add new features to the Silena family. And for Euron Level 2020, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to present a few new features to you. All right, Guillaume, I can't wait to learn more and uh, make sure to check out navalnews.com in October 2020 to find out what it's all about.